In this episode, I'm going to cut this sheet metal in half and weld it back together with my MIG for practice before I actually try and do it on my real car. Let's go! Alright, so I was sitting at home thinking, I need to be practicing either welding or working on the car or doing something. I thought, you know, I've got to, I've got to keep, keep cracking on, keep building the skills. So I was thinking I might actually do some welding because we've got to do some rust repairs on the Falcon. And before I actually do that, I want a bit of practice. So I'm like, well, what steel am I going to use? I used to have a couple of XA Falcons. I had a sedan. Then I sold that or stripped that to actually build, start building a coupe. Uh, but I ended up selling that due to the rust repairs. But one thing I did have from that was rust repair section. Let's have a little look. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is a box. I've actually kept this for a while. I originally bought this from Nara Auto Safe and Sound. Came from Rare Space. So let's have a little look. I've had these for a while. Let's have a look here. Australian car parts specialist. Rare Spares. And I've had them since 25th, the 2nd, 1995. <laughs> wow, that's like 25 years, a bit more. So what I'm thinking, so I just cut some of this up and just try doing some tack welds because I've got no use for these. Um, I guess I could use them for some patch panels, but I can also use them for a bit of practice. So if I just cut a bit off, off these and we'll try and weld them together. Let's see how we go. All right, so I just cut a bit of that off, as you would have seen. Just cleaned up the edge with a uh, with a Dremel, but um, mainly because I couldn't be bothered just changing the the disc on the angle grinder. So it's probably worth getting another cheap angle grinder. I've had this one for like 20 years or something, um, and just putting a grinding wheel on that. So just have one as a grinder, one as a cutter. So that way you don't have to keep changing them. That's been pretty old, so it's not really a fast change or anything like that. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, so anyway, we've got a bit of an edge. I might just grind off the main surface here and then we can put a few tack welds and I can practice tack welding that. All right, so you can kind of see, oops, no you can't. Uh, I'm gonna kind of sit this together and I'm gonna run some tacks. So you can see there's a bit of a gap there. I'm actually gonna leave that. Um, I know that's gonna be more of a challenge to try to make that work. But I'm gonna get this butt this up as best I can, add some tack welds, and then we'll just do tacks basically all the way along. And then I'm gonna have a go at trying to fill in that gap. Now this is one mil steel, so we'll see how it goes anyway. And the idea here is to try and tack this together and not get any distortion, so that's gonna be interesting. One of the other things I've done since I was using the welder last time is change the wire. So this is now 0.6 wire, it's got a smaller or the appropriate roller in there to feed that through. Um, and that should work better with a 0.6, oh sorry, a one mil um, plate. So anyway, let's, let's try that out for the first time. Okay, so these are my settings. So we've got 5.1 on the amps, 15 on the wire speed for this MIG, um, and obviously using the one mil 
um, steel and that seems like it's working really good. I feel quite comfortable with that. It seems like it's uh, working probably the best it has since I've been using it, which has only been another two other times practicing. But so far, it uh, feels really good and easy. Okay, so we've got a couple of tacks in here. You can see what I've done. Um, you see it's not dead straight and that's okay because I'm more like the practice of, of welding. But we want to try and do as best job we can. So we've got three tacks in there. Got to have this flat. The machine is actually welding really well. Might just stick another tack in there. And then, then we can do some spot welds. But the other thing we're looking at is trying to keep this cool and see if we can minimize any distortion as we would when we're doing this on the car. So anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so I've pretty much welded up the um, most of this. I'm probably not going to do much more than that. It was more for the practice side of it. So you can see I've just tried to sort of spot weld that. There was a gap there. So I've tried to fill in that gap. Um, kind of looks pretty rough at the moment. I'm, there is a little bit more to go here, but for the sake of the exercise, um, not that worried about that. I just want to grind it back now for a bit of bit of the exercise and see how we go. Make sure it's not warm. Grab a bit of the other side. I guess the other thing I was doing was trying to make sure I have some penetration. So you can see some of the earlier welds didn't penetrate all the way through, but uh, I changed some of my settings. And you can see we're getting penetration coming through. Obviously there's a few little things you might want to fix up, but you get the general idea that it looks like we're getting some penetration there. Good. The other thing, um, I didn't spend that much time letting it cool, mainly because I was more interested in practicing um, welding that back together. and. To have a look there's actually quite a gap there how hard that is to see but obviously this is i didn't have this um weighed down or anything or well, this wasn't clamped down so this is kind of pulled up a bit which is fine i mean obviously on the car you'd want to on the actual panel when you're doing it on the car you want to be very careful about how much heat you put in here I started speeding up just to get the job done, but you wouldn't want to do that on the actual panel. Uh, so now I'm just going to spend a bit of time uh, trying to grind this back and we'll see what it looks like. And then I have a bit more confidence about doing it on the car, sort of have a bit of a feel for uh, what the settings are going to be on the welder and yeah, we can go from there. All right, I'm just going to have a go at grinding down the weld. So if we go down here, you can see I've got the weld here. I've already had a bit of a go. You can sort of see it's flattened up a bit. You can see what I've got set up here, uh, the welding table that I've got now. Um, I've bought this, just this one C-type clamp from Super Cheap Auto, 20 bucks. Um, I did get myself a new angle grinder because the one I had was pretty old and uh, I'm always really conscious of safety. This has got a switch that is like, um, you can just hold it with your thumb or you can lock it. So you've got that option, I like that. Uh, plus it's got a movable guard. And I'm just using this zirconia disc, 100 mil. Um, I think I saw Howard Astor using one of these. He recommended it, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, and I've also got this Boss World welding um, frame and curtain. I got that from Bunnings. I think it was about 100 bucks. So I'll probably get three or four of those over time, and I can build myself a little box for when I'm kind of welding and just minimise any chance of. It sparks sort of jumping around the garage. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. But using my safety glasses, also using this face shield as well as the glasses. And I have got, always have fire extinguisher handy. Because the last thing I want to do is have a fire in here. Uh, so yeah, anyway, let's crack on. So I've ground this flat now, uh, let it cool down. You can see there's a few like, welding pits and stuff there. So there's probably something to learn from trying to keep a nice even bead. 
uh, was a bit, you know, kind of all over the shop, but I guess that's good starting practice. Anyway, I've ground that down. The disc actually did pretty good, but it, it can generate quite a lot of heat. Um, there's also a few little pinholes that probably need to be re-welded. Um, and there's definitely a, a little dent there, like a low spot. Um, so, you know, I didn't really try to make sure this was held down. You know, I just welded it. So there's probably a bit of the welding pulling it up. Um, also, you get close to an edge, you can see there's a nice rolled edge. You gotta be really careful with that grinding disc because you can easily kind of get that out of shape and uh, obviously then that doesn't look good. It'll be a bit harder to get that in shape. So that's probably something else I've learned. Be careful on the corners here because you can easily grind those away. But overall, I think uh, it's a good starting point and giving me a bit more confidence before working on the car itself. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. So we've done some well, we've done some practice welding. I probably will need to do a little bit more, but it gives me definitely gives me a bit more confidence to uh, you start using the welder on, on my actual car, um, try some of those out. Um, so we'll start off with some really simple things and then we'll work on some of the more complex, you know, rust repairs. Anyway, this has been a long video and thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. In this episode, I'm gonna cut this sheet metal and then weld it back together with my wig. With my wig.